Hello Minecrafters, this is Mr. Albert from Star Education and this is part one of my series on getting started with Minecraft in survival mode. I have three goals for today's lesson. Number one, I'm going to be starting up a world in survival mode. I'm going to show you how to do that. Number two, I'm going to talk about the differences between survival mode and creative mode, how the two different modes of Minecraft are different. And thirdly, I'm going to walk us through the first day and night in Minecraft survival mode, the goals that we're going to have and what we want to do. Okay, so let's get started. Give me a moment to switch my uh, setup and here we go. Starting up a world in Minecraft survival mode is a lot like starting it in creative mode. I'm going to click on single player. And we're going to choose create new world. However, in, I'm going to give it a name. Yeah, let's call this one Craft Survival Universe. And the main difference between uh, survival mode and creative mode is this game mode here can stay on survival. Okay, I'm going to keep the difficulty on normal. I am going to turn cheats on just for the uh, videos so that certain uh, commands I can use in order to make the videos run a little bit better. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these world options. Okay, um, I'm going to keep the world type on default. default bleh, I'm going to keep generate structures on. Some uh, players like to use a bonus chest. I'm not going to turn though this on right now. What this will do if you turn it on is it will give you a chest full of some starting items. So that will uh, let you get started a little bit easier. But I want to show you guys how to get started from scratch, so I'm not going to use that, okay? And with that, all we have to do is click here where it says create new world. All right. Now, the main difference between survival mode and creative mode Minecraft is that in survival mode, you need to worry about your own safety. In creative mode, you can't be hurt, you can't be uh, can't be uh, d destroyed, and you don't need to worry about food or anything like that. All you need to do is go around and build like you're playing with Lego blocks. And that brings us to the second difference between creative and survival mode. In creative mode, you have access. You can use any blocks that you want like you've got your entire uh, box of Legos sitting next to you and you can use those to build however you like. But in survival mode, you can only build with the blocks that you yourself have found in the world. So let's talk a little bit about a few differences between creative and survival mode here. First of all, uh, let me quickly change my video settings. There we go. You will notice that even though I can move left, I can move right, I can move front using W and S to move back. If I press spacebar, I can jump, but if I press it twice, I cannot fly anymore. Let's do this. Yeah, I can't fly. Uh, survival mode Minecraft requires me to obey the law of gravity. I need to watch out uh, because I cannot fly, and if I fall from too far a distance, I will take damage. And that's what brings up the second uh, thing I need to uh, watch out for, okay? You'll see at the bottom of my screen are two new bars that are not there in creative mode. My left side with the hearts is my health meter, and on the right side with the little uh, chicken drumsticks is my food meter. I need to be watching out for my food, because if I don't eat food, then I will start to take damage, and I will... Uh, and I'll end up losing all my stuff. And if I, um, I also need to watch out for my health. If I take damage from monsters, that will cause me uh, to, uh, well, uh, if I lose all of my hearts, I die. I need to, uh, re, uh, I will lose all my stuff and I return to the starting point, okay? So generally I want to make sure that I am keeping myself as safe and healthy as possible in the game while I'm going around building things. If I press the E button, my inventory, you can now see that I don't get the creative inventory. I have no tabs and I've only got the items that I have managed to pick up from the world. As an example, 
if I walk up to this tree and I hold down the uh, left click button, break, if I tap it, it won't, nothing will happen. But if I click it and I hold it down, you'll see that eventually a block will drop. And if I walk up and pick that up, I now have that oak log. Now that I own an oak log, I can put it down again and I can use this oak log to build. Okay. So, because of that, my main goals in survival mode are usually two. Well, there's three, but um, that's a further on later on. But the two goals that I'm always having to keep in mind are I need to get food so that I can keep myself healthy, and I need to get items so that I can build and create better blocks. Okay, so let's go on in this case to the second part of the lesson, which is what is going to be my main goal for the first day and night in Minecraft survival mode? Well, I've got three. Number one, I need to punch a tree and get some wood. Wood is the basic, uh, basic uh, material for most of Minecraft. It's what I need to create a crafting table. It's what I need to create uh, tools. Stone tools, uh, iron tools, diamond tools, netherite, they all require wood sticks. So I need to always make sure that I've got a good supply of trees, of wood, on hand. After that, the second thing is I need to decide to, I need to set up a shelter. And by that I mean that when night falls, monsters are going to spawn. Uh, in Minecraft, I have about 10 to uh, 15 minutes, uh, somewhere between there, before night falls and monsters start to appear. So I need to make sure that I am in a safe spot so that uh, monsters cannot attack me. I need to build myself a little house, or I need to dig myself a uh, shelter to stay in. Okay. And the third thing uh, that I like to do is I like to start setting look for easy improvements, which is to say things that I can get quickly that uh, I will help me uh, move on to my the next stage. For instance, if there are sheep, can I make make a bed? If there are, let's say, village, can I uh, borrow a house? If there is a mine, can I get some ore, some iron or some uh, other ores that I can use to uh, improve my technology? And with that, that brings up the fourth thing, which is to explore the world around me. Okay? So with this in mind, I'm not going to be looking at this uh, at my goals very much for the next few minutes because I'm going to be uh, working very quickly on trying to uh, get everything ready before the first night falls. Okay, so let's begin. Number one, the first thing that I have is that I've got a uh, oak log. I'm looking around a little bit and I'm seeing that there is some stone across the river and there are some trees. So I'm going to go over there because stone will let me get to cobblestone. Uh, yeah, I can also do it from here. And cobblestone is better than wood, which is the starting uh, item. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and press E with my one log. I'm going to place my log here in my crafting area, and that will get me planks. If I pick up my planks with left click, and then I use my right click to place them like this, that will make me a crafting table. And the crafting table is the most important uh, block in Minecraft. It's the first thing you want to make because it lets you make all of the other tools. Okay? Now let's move on. I'm going to need about two wooden logs for the next step. <laughs> I'm going to grab them and I'm going to right click here and I'm going to take my two wooden logs and I'm going to turn these both into oak planks. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hold down the shift button, the same button that I normally use when flying in creative mode to fly downwards. It's right next to the Z. You can see it glowing on my no board here. 
and if I click on oak planks while I'm doing that, it will turn both of the logs into uh, oak planks. Okay. Now let's do this. Take one uh, oak plank like this, put them two on one on top of the other, and that will get me sticks. I take two sticks like this, and then I'm going to use my planks to draw a T across the top, and that will make me a wooden pickaxe. Now, pickaxes are important because they are what let me collect cobblestone from this stone. If I broke this and I didn't use a wooden uh, pickaxe, first of all, you'll see that it takes a long time to break. And secondly, when it breaks, I don't get any cobblestone. So, I always start off with a wooden pickaxe because that will let me get cobblestone okay all right so now let's uh, let's take a look at our goals punch a tree get some wood I finished that next question is set up a shelter now I could be chopping down trees to make a house but I think what I'm going to do for this first day is I'm going to set up a shelter in this cliffside I'm going to take my pickaxe and I'm going to very carefully, but slowly, uh, dig out a house like this. In survival mode, you often want to make sure that you aren't uh, using too many items, uh, too many blocks, because you've got to dig up all of the blocks that you use. So, instead of spending the time to build a house made out of wood, which would mean I have to chop down a bunch of trees. I'm going to start off by digging out a little room in this uh, cliffside. And then I am going to use my uh, the blocks that I got to make a doorway. Okay? So here we go. Six cobblestone, uh, 19 of this granite. There we go. <laughs> now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to make a door for my house. And the way that I would do that is I'll need six oak planks. I could do that by punching trees, or I can do that much more quickly by making a stone axe. I can do that by taking two sticks and taking three cobblestone like this, or if I click here on my green book, I'll see that the stone axe is here in my uh, crafting book. I can click on that. The game will automatically craft the uh, stone axe for me. And then I can just click on it and put it down here. You'll notice, by the way, that in my crafting book, only the recipes that I can build are white. Everything else is red. And if I click here on this little red X, it will only show me the things that I can build with the items that I'm holding right now. Okay, let's move on. Uh, I've got my axe. I'm going to use it to chop down a tree. And then I'm going to use it to chop down another tree. And I only really need a few of these to make the doors, but I've got a plan for the uh, future, which you will see later on because uh, the truth is that wood is useful for much more, wood logs are much useful for much more than just building uh, tools. They can also be used for other purposes, which I will show you soon. All right, so we are about 14 minutes into this lesson, which means that I want to now take a look at the sun. Where is it right now? It's that point in the sky. And if I hold my crosshair right above it, I can see, if I l just let it still, take my mouse off, that the sun is moving in this direction, which means I don't have a lot of time before the sun goes down and uh, monsters start to appear. I need to get into my house, and I need to set myself up for safety quickly. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my crafting table here. And then secondly, I'm going to use my crafting table to make two sets of oak planks. 
which is to say eight of these. All right, I don't see any doors here. Ah, there it is. I'm going to click on the door, and I'm going to grab these oak doors, and I'm going to place them in the doorway like this. Okay, so I've got my doorway. It's safe. I no longer need to worry about uh, monsters coming in and attacking me as long as they don't uh, punch down the door, which they can't in normal difficulty. But in any case, this will stop zombies from coming in and attacking me while I'm working on what I'm going to do next, which is I'm going to use my pickaxe to start building a mine. Okay. And the reason for this is that I'm going to need more cobblestone in order to get to the next step of my uh, technology. And I'm going to need more uh, ore in order to uh, get better weapons and tools. And the main thing about ore is that you, ha in order to find it, you have to go dig downwards. You have to dig closer to the bedrock level. Okay, let's take a look at what's my inventory right now. 15 cobblestone, that's perfect. If I open up my crafting table now, I'll see that one of the items I can build is a furnace. The furnace is the second item I want to build after my crafting table. And the reason for that is, if I take some oak logs and I put some of them up here, and if I right click, use my build button, and put the other half down here. It will use this, these oak logs as um, fuel to turn these oak logs up top into charcoal. Why is charcoal important? Two reasons. Number one, I can use charcoal to uh, start turning uh, more oak logs into charcoal. And secondly, if I take a piece of charcoal and I combine it with a stick, it makes four torches. I'm going to take my torches, and I'm going to put my torches inside my house, and one in this mine. And the reason for that is, if you remember from uh, any uh, other uh, lessons that we've done in uh, Minecraft, monsters will appear where there is no light. So I need to make sure that I'm using torches to keep the light inside of my house lit up so that monsters don't appear. In fact, I'm going to put one torch right outside just so monsters don't appear too close to me. All right, now let's move on. I Last time I made a wooden pickaxe, but now I can make stone. So I'm going to make a stone pickaxe, and I'm going to keep digging downwards. I'm hitting a bit of gravel, but that's fine. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. 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 You can see that uh, the cave is getting too dark down there. I need some more light, so I'm going to come back up. See, I've got nine pieces of charcoal. Uh, I'm going to turn these m into more uh, charcoal. And I, I, I can always, the next day, I can come outside and chop down more trees. <laughs> but I'm going to take some of those, and I'm going to make some more torches. I'm going to put up the torches in the mine, and I'm going to keep digging downwards. Okay. All right. And as I keep digging, at some point, eventually, I should run into something other than cobblestone and granite. I should run into some kind of ore. I should run into uh, some kind of cave, I can run into a mine shaft, or if there's none of that along, then eventually, if I dig down far enough, I will run into bedrock. Now, you might wonder, 
why am I not, why am I digging down at this sort of L shape? Why don't I just dig straight downwards like this? Well, if I'm standing here and I'm digging straight downwards, then how am I going to get back up? I can't fly, remember? I need to have a set of stairs to climb back up. And secondly, oh look at this, some iron ore, that's useful. Secondly, if I dig straight downwards, then I'm digging underneath my feet, right? That might mean that I might run into a situation where I fall into a bunch of lava, or I fall in into a cave. Either way is a bad thing. So I want to make sure that I am always digging down safely at an angle and creating a set of stairs behind me. If you notice, I kind of tend to dig at a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in kind of an L shape. Like I'll dig down and then front, and then I'll dig upwards so that I have enough room to uh, walk over to the next step. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can also hear some zombies around. And as you can see, down here... I just broke into a cave, okay? So this is an area down here that's going to require some uh, careful uh, navigating, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that next time. That's it for now. Talk to you later. We talk to you later.